Hi everyone, welcome back to Alice and the Giant Bookshelf and welcome to my TBR video for September. my channel or welcome if you are new. My name's Alice and I have way too many books and as previously discussed I will be trying to get through some of those many books on my shelf in the month of September. So I've already shown you one TBR of sorts that was my pile of possibilities for shorty September and I'm hoping that reading those shorties will help make a big dent in the TBR. But today I thought I'd talk to you about everything else I'm planning for September. There are a few readathons other than Shorty September that I would like to read one book for and there are a few buddy reads to talk about and of course there's the FOMO book club book. Let's start with the readathon I've got the biggest book for and that is Shake Temba. Now Shake Temba is as it sounds, reading Shakespeare in the month of September. And this is hosted by uh, Jason at Old Blues Chapter and Verse, Kelly at Books I'm Not Reading, and Nicole at A Day of Small Things. And they are going to be reading, I believe, three Shakespeare plays over the course of September. And I feel like three is probably a little bit ambitious for me with my other plans. So I would quite like to try and read two out of these three and one of those would be a reread for me and one would be new to me which I think is like a manageable amount of Shakespeare. <laughs> if you're new to my channel I have participated in reading Shakespeare in September for the past two years of being on booktube and really the first year that I participated it was the first time I had read a Shakespeare play on my own I think. The first time I'd certainly got through an entire Shakespeare play since school. So yeah I, I am really grateful to Shake Temba for that. So the three plays that they are planning to read are Romeo and Juliet, Richard III and Antony and Cleopatra. Now Romeo and Juliet is my favourite Shakespeare play of all time. I did it at school, I've been in a play of it of sorts, I've watched it <laughs> I think. I've certainly watched the film, especially the modernised Baz Luhrmann version, which I love. Really, really like Romeo and Juliet and I feel like I know it quite well. So I am looking forward to rereading that. And I do have a smaller copy, standalone copy of Romeo and Juliet. This would actually easily count as a shorty because I think the actual play within this book I think actual play is only this much of the book, this part here, which is about 121 pages. So that would count as a shorty. I might well read it in with my shorty reads. And as I said, I, there's definitely still passages of this that I know. So I'm looking forward to revisiting it, to watching the films and yeah, getting a bit of Romeo and Juliet Shakespeare in my life. So that is definitely a plan for me. I would really like to read either Antony and Cleopatra or Richard III. I've never actually yet read one of Shakespeare's history plays and I do have my big old complete Shakespeare that I could use to read one of these two plays. So if I was to pick one, the one that appeals to me most would be Antony and Cleopatra. That comes under being a tragedy rather than a history history play. So one day I will read one of the history plays. I really, really will, but I don't think that that's this year, probably. Yeah, if I read Antony and Cleopatra, that is on page 2158 of this book, which tells you how many pages this massive book has. 2,158. Oh, so it's just after Othello, which I read the first Shakespeare. I mean, that's less than 100 pages on these big pages. Um, so yeah, I, I probably will have a go at Antony and Cleopatra later on in the month. Hopefully we'll get time for that because I would like to read a new to me Shakespeare 
in the month of September. So yeah, that was my big, big book for September, but obviously I won't be reading it all. I'll be dipping into it. So I'm looking forward to a bit of Shake Temba, and I'm also looking forward to a brand new readathon that focuses on reading Australian literature, which is called Straya September and is being hosted by Scott over at Gunpowder Fiction and Plot. I was gonna go and get a book that Scott had recommended to me from my library, but conveniently, Mr. Bees actually sent me an Australian crime book that won the CWA debut dagger. This is Wake by Shelley Burr, so I will definitely read this rather than get something else out of the library. So this is my pick for Straya September, really looking forward to that. And this one is about a woman whose sister disappeared 19 years ago, and a private investigator turns up and wants to reinvestigate the case. So this is about that, I think. And and really looking forward to trying this. On to other plans, I have to of course start with my own book club, which is FOMO Book Club, which is hosted by me and the wonderful Jack from Spread Book Joy and the lovely Gemma from Gemma Books. And we've been hosting this to read books we feel we've missed out on. And one of those books, which I've been looking forward to all year, is the final book of our first year of selections, is The 13th Tale by Diane Setterfield. I can't wait to read this and get some spooky gothic type things in my life. I think this is about like an abandoned and forgotten imposing house which I love. That's like one of my top settings for sure. Of course there's going to be secrets and mysteries to unravel in this one which I'm very much looking forward to. There's also an enigmatic author and I love it when authors are characters in books. So yeah this has a lot of things going for it that are on my tick list of like things I should really really like. So looking forward to this. This copy was sent to me by the lovely Charlie from Charlie Brook Reads as a Christmas present. If you want to join us for FOMO Book Club we will be reading The 13th Tale. It doesn't have to be read in September so we'll be reading it over September and October and at the end of October we'll be live on Jack's channel Spread Book Joy to discuss this book. If you want to join in you've got two months to join in with it. Plenty of time. I might read this in September but if I get overwhelmed with other picks I might read it in October but I'm hoping to get to it soon so that's our FOMO book club pick for September. I'll also be joining back in again with the Killer Reads Thriller Month book club. I have not yet read last month's pick uh, The Night of the Hunter by Davis Grubb so I do still need to catch up with that but I will definitely be joining in with this month's which is A Rage in Harlem by Chester Himes. I've wanted to read this for ages. I think I read about this in The Rough Guide to Crime Fiction by Barry Forshaw many years ago and I actually have this one downloaded and ready to go on audio so that will be my main audiobook listen of the month and I'm looking forward to joining back in with the Killer Reads Thriller Month book club which is hosted as always by the wonderful AJ over AJ Dunn Reads and Writes. I'm also hoping to join in again with Christy Fest which is hosted by Julie at Book With Many Covers and Lil at Lil's Vintage World and they're going to be reading Third Girl by Agatha Christie this is one of Christie's later Poirot novels and it's a bit strange. It does have Ariadne Oliver in, which I always like in a Poirot book, but this has to be one of the stranger Poirot books. And this was written in the 60s and it's got a very 60s vibe to it. So that's what I can remember about it. Pretty sure it does involve murder and the Bohemian world of art students, it says on the back. So I'm kind of looking forward to rereading this one, but it wouldn't be one of my top priorities to reread. So I am hoping to get to it in September so that I can chat with Christy Fest about it. But I also still really, really want to get to The Murder of Roger Ackroyd as well for a different project. So yeah, hopefully this will fit in because it's also nice and short. And this is only about 220 pages, so would also qualify as a shorty. In terms of buddy reads, I do have three planned, most of which will be happening later on in the month. And there's probably more buddy reads than this. 
going on because I do have a long-standing sort of couple of buddy reads that are going on with um, Gemma and Jack who I've already mentioned. So I won't mention those today but they probably will happen in September but let's get on to the very definitely planned buddy reads. I've had this one planned for a while. This is Frenchman's Creek by Daphne du Maurier. Really looking forward to getting to this because this was on my list of 23 classics I wanted to read in 2023. Haven't been doing so great with that list so I need to get to this one and I always love Daphne du Maurier. I haven't read the blurb on this one because I'm going to leave it as a surprise for myself but I'm pretty sure there are pirates. I think there's pirates in this one. But I, I look forward to reading this and this is going to be a buddy read with several friends. Gemma from Gemma Books, Emily from Novel Novels, Anne from Angie's Book Chatter, maybe Jack from Spread Book Joy and Danny from Danny's Book World. So I'm really really looking forward to reading this with all of those lovely ladies and uh, chatting about it and um, I think we're going to be starting this one as soon as the month starts so can't wait to go back to some more Daphne du Maurier because I always seem to love her books. So I'm really excited for that especially after reading Jamaica Inn earlier in the year with FOMO Book Club. We're all looking forward I think to a bit more du Maurier. So my second buddy read for the month is going to be Big Sky by Kate Atkinson and this is going to be a buddy read with Nikki from Red Dot Reads. I'm really looking forward to that because I love buddy reading with Nikki and I think we've also got a Victober buddy read planned for October so it'll be really nice to do two buddy reads with Nikki and this is one of the books in the Jackson Brody series by Kate Atkinson that I have not yet read and actually I think it's going to mean that I'm going to read this series out of order which I'm not too worried about. I definitely read I think the first two books in this series, Case Histories which absolutely broke me. I think I read One Good Turn might be one of the books. I don't think I've read books three and four in this series and I think this is book five but absolutely adore this cover with the big gull on it. I think it's fantastic cover and I think it's relevant because Jackson Brody has relocated to a quiet seaside town but I'm sure there will be murders. Yeah so Jackson Brody is a private detective. Doesn't actually mention murder on the back but maybe there will be one. Looking forward to dipping back into this crime series with Nikki. And finally on the Buddy Reads front we have a Ray Bradbury buddy read. So far I've buddy read two Ray Bradbury books with the lovely Mitzi at Mitzi Reads and Writes and the wonderful Art at Arts Bookshelf Odyssey and reading Ray Bradbury is great at any time but I really really enjoy these buddy reads because Art has usually read all of the books and has a very a huge wealth of knowledge of Ray Bradbury and has been reading them since he was young. Mitzi, more like myself, has come to Ray Bradbury more recently and it's just great the conversations that we've had about Bradbury. Really really enjoy that and Jack who's had a few mentions in this video from Spread Book Joy sent me this one for my birthday, The Day It Rained Forever by Ray Bradbury. We're going to be reading this one, it's got quite a list of short stories in it so and I think this would also qualify as a shorty to be honest. It's 231 pages so it's not far off being a shorty book for Shorty September either. But very much looking forward to reading this with Mitzi and Art. Yeah, that's my final buddy read for the month of September. It does sound a bit like I might have overcommitted as usual. A couple of book clubs, a couple of readathons that I'm gonna read one or two things for. So yeah, I don't feel too bad about the plans I've got for September but I am really really hoping to get through lots of those shorties as well so fingers crossed I can manage to do that. Um, do let me know in the comments what are you planning to read in September? Are you joining in with Shorty September? Are you joining in with Shake Temper or Straya September or any other readathon that I haven't mentioned? There are more and I just haven't got time in my life to fit them all in sadly but do tell me if you're participating in a different one. I would love to know and I would love to hear your comments. That's all from me today. If you've enjoyed this TV 
TBR. Please do give it a like. Please do consider subscribing if you haven't already. And I will hope very much to see you all again soon for another video all about books here on Alice and the Giant Bookshelf. Bye for now.